friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god. Full disclosure, I have opened this game. Uh, I fast-forwarded myself um, to, like, the first point at which there was stuff. And then I made sure all my settings were good. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. One sec. Cool trick. Man, that is beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this. Campaign. New. Making death from above attacks will damage your mech's leg and make it more unstable. Use this ability carefully. Uh, oh, we also have, real quick before we begin, the fig bag stinky inside paradox. Thanks again for that host. M. Bruce, Terran Rex, Neonard, Aether, Typhoon, Next Cat, and Bubbage NL. Thank you for that, dudes. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne it was hiring a mercenary skilled enough perhaps ruthless enough to carry the day hiring you i still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it for belief in my cause or just in my money but whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. Battletech Restoration. Okay, awesome. Uh, real quick before we begin, also thank you, Bitteko, Wakotako, and Orxy with the 12 months. Also, Zerubora, really appreciate your 999 uh, double sub there, buddy. Thank you very much, Zerubora. And he also said, thank you, Ko, for being my first Twitch baby. Nine months of watching you bring joy to the masses. Good vibes and a hat tip. Thanks, bud. Okay. 
The Aragan Reach is a small kingdom in the Rimward Periphery, a region of space that lies at the outskirts more closely, uh, more densely colonized inner sphere. It is home to the Aragon Coalition, a federation organized around a parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family. Uh, for three generations under the rule of House Arano, the Aragan Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. It is here your story begins. Decades ago, your family came to the Reach from... Oh, my lord. <whistles> Mech warriors who hail from the Federated Suns tend to possess more finely honed skills and better equipment than their counterparts from other regions of space. Uh, they often see themselves as righteous warriors and champions of liberty, sometimes to a fault. Oh, man, I wonder what kind of... What is, what is picking this going to do? And there's so many of them. Mech warriors who hail from the magistri magistracy of cannabis can run the gamut of skills and fighting styles, but they often favor clever and unorthodox tactics on the field. Tend to be stubborn and aggressive. They can be anything from petty thugs to ruthless tacticians to skilled and honorable warriors. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna do the deep periphery. Mech warriors that hail from the deep periphery are rare, but even rarer is the mech warrior who will admit to such an origin. Yep. You are of noble birth. Though immigrants to the Oregon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's titles, an ancestral battle mech, and old Blackjack BJ-1. Equipped for both long and close range entanglements, a pair of AC-2s is backed up by four medium lasers. Okay. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the Succession War, whom your parents hired for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. Until the day of your 16th birthday, when... Okay, we were exiled. That gives us gunnery and tactics. We struck out on our own, which gives piloting and tactics. Our family went bankrupt, which gives tactics and guts. Tactics increases the effectiveness of called shot opportunities. Guts improves the maximum health of mech warriors. Piloting increases the melee hit chance and base sprint distance. Ooh. Your family died in an accident. Oh no. Your family was betrayed. Gunnery determines a chance to hit with ranged weapons. Yeah, we're, we're going to go Red Wedding with this. Our, our family was betrayed and our seat of power destroyed, but we were the sole surviving member of your house. Okay. Out on your own, you fell into the life of a Oregon Coalition soldier, a frontier pirate, a Solaris gladiator, an inner sphere mercenary, a frontier frontier freelancer, or merchant guard. Now, just in case this is overwhelming some people in chat, keep in mind this is some very heavy lore decision. But really, all it is is pick your stat: gunnery, guts, gunnery, tactics, tactics, and piloting. So it looks like there's a couple: two tactics, two gunneries, one guts, and one pilot. So apparently, since we see like these both give one tactic. So this decision is probably going to mean more than just the stat point. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's do... What do we What do we want? We are from deep periphery. Our family was murdered. So, I mean, of course we became a pirate. I mean, let, I mean we got to follow this rabbit hole down to the, the core, man. Until years later, you cross paths with Raju Mastiff Montgomery once again. After years of roaming the frontier, your outfit's luck eventually ran out, landing you in an Oregon Coalition prison. Hearing of your bad turn of fortune, Raju dragged you out of jail, giving you a second chance under his mentorship. After heavy re rehabilitation, you proved your worth and were inducted into the House Serrano Royal Guard. 
So it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of the Lady Kamiya Arano. Damn. Oh, here we go. Call sign is going to be... Let's go with Ko. And we'll be, we'll be Ben Connage. There we go. Perfect. I am a... What can we... We, we are a he. And... Man, a lot of different faces. Oh, we can also customize? Hold on. Whoa! Okay. Uh, we can do roots and tips. Oh my lord. Um, lighter skin tone. Uh, oh my god, man. No, I don't need any makeup. Let's get that makeup off. Oh god, no. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I don't really need a giant face tattoo. That's okay. Uh, we can... Okay, apparently I'm, I'm going to get one anyway. That works. Uh, clothing. Oh, look at that. Cool. Let's go with that red one. There we go. Lighting. Oh, badass. Let's go with that one. Man, even different camera angles. There we go. Gotta look at the facial hair. This is really important. This make or break this this makes or breaks a game right here. Oh, there we go. Great. There we go. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, I can't tell. Eh, sure. Uh, complexion. Oh man, look at that. Oh, it's like a, it's almost like an age thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's just go like brown hair, man. We don't need no crazy hair. There we go. Okay. I need better hair. <laughs> this is really important. Uh, sure, let's go some crazy... Okay, awesome. Let's do it. I want to play this game. Let's go. All right. I think we're set. Boom. The High Lord Tamati Arano II is dead. The Oregon Reach is left at an uncertain crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Lord Santiago Espinosa, brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving Council of Founding Houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would conscript their house guards into the... Bleh. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Kamiya Arano, is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an author uh, authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his ve vehement pleas to reconsider. On the morning of Lady Arano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mastiff Montgomery, makes preparations to escort her safely uh, to the coronation procession that awaits her in Cordia City. Cool. Coronation Day. In mission. Boop. Command interface initiated. Ah. Ah. Let's do it. Move the mouse to the edge of the screen or use WASA to move the camera. Cool. Use the right mouse button or Q and E to rotate the camera. Nice. Okay, Co. I had the Espinosa refit yards rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it just to be sure. Standard field tests. You know the drill. More importantly, though, I want to tell you about the job I brought you out here to do. Now do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. My turn. Round one. Move your mech to the marked location. 
Click on a mech warrior's portrait or press tab to cycle between all available units. Ooh. Tab. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's gonna be more to this job than escort duty. Oh my god, look how far in you can go. Oh. Yo quiero, amigo, yo quiero. Alright, let's move to here. Boop. Oh, now we set where it's facing when we get here. Okay, so right there. I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tamati's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Kamiya's safety during her coronation procession. Anyways, looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Okay. Let's go for you. Ooh. Select a target with your mouse, press tab, and click fire when ready. Okay, can I... Oh, I can... Okay, I can pick what weapons fire. Cool. I can change my target. Can I, like... Can I aim at a certain point? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, dude. Okay. Cool. All right, here we go. Fire. All weapons committed. Straight up alpha strike. Enemy mech destroyed. Bam. Good shot. Your guns are in working order at least. We should run a calibration check on your tactical computer. You see that drone over there, the one moving through the tree line? Target it for me and open fire. I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Cordia City. I'll rest easier when she's in the capital, with her cousin Victoria by her side. Camilla's like a daughter to me. And her late father, High Lord Tamati, was a good friend. Thanks, Barry. All right, so we gotta fire at this first. Okay, so we got some stuff here. Forest. Forest reduces movement and spotting distance and provides cover. A 25% damage reduction against range attacks to the front and side. Does not stack with guarded. Okay, so there's there's forest, and then this is cover. 25% re uh, damage reduction against range attacks on the front and side. Training target. And weak against melee. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, it shows here where the fire is coming from from us. So that'll be able to tell us exactly what we're going to be hitting when we fire. That's pretty handy. All right, let's do this. All weapons committed. Yeah, we're not going to do much there. Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. Hmm. Okay. All right, so now we're going to fire the target, but now it's going to be at the back side of it. Yeah, we can see the red part changed here. And now the back is probably lightly armored. So let's try again. All weapons committed. Bam. Well then. Beautiful. Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are in Oregon politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by High Lord Tamati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamiya belongs on the Komarat throne. Go ahead and fire up your jump jets, kid. I want to see you descend that cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there near the edge of the lake. Ooh, jump jets. Okay. So number... Oh, here are our abilities. Oh, I can't see what these are. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff we can do, but... Alright, jump to there. And then aim... Like there. Engaging jump jets. Dunk. Enemy detected. Ooh! Oh! Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Oh, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lights. Warning, plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet systems damaged. System inoperable until repaired. Oh. Oh, for the love of all the gods. This is what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. The Espinosa refit yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. It looked like they were trying to process every single Royal Guard mech in time for the coronation. Uh-oh. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're just going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break on your blackjack. Uh, break down your blackjack before we take it out to the Comrade Road. Click on the melee targeting reticule on the enemy, or press V to cycle through melee targets, then hit the attack button. So tab goes through the regular targets, but V goes through melee targets. So we're going to be charging this guy on his left side. Okay. Engaging. Boom! Damn, he even exploded on his left side. That's pretty cool. Uh, good hit, at least that's solid. All right, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're mecha maneuver. The farther you move, the more evasive charges you will gain. Each evasive charge makes you harder to hit. So we just got one evasive charge. And now we lost it. Oh. Congratulations, Ko. Your blackjack your blackjack's as combat ready as it can be. Given the circumstances, uh, for what it's worth, I hope that my suspicions turn out to be unfounded and that we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know that you'll be ready. Alright, it's time to move out. Lady Arano is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Okay. Evasive charges are the thing. Oh, these little arrows right there? Okay, cool. Great. Oh, do I have to do anything? Oh, return to Mastiff. Okay. Cannot sprint? Oh, I have to select sprint. So if I just move, then that's my radius. But if I hit three... Ah. Cool. Okay. For the time being, my father summoned me to the Pinkton docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of a noble daughter, a fount of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father, and don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity, you pilot. Victoria Espinosa. Bold words, cousin, but the only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending to the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech, and in the arena, I reign supreme. We'll see, cousin, we'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney grounds. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland, along with the Cormorant Road, as in the Arano tradition. Aye, Kamiya, we'll get you there in one piece. Ko, fall in behind me, and remember what I told you. Mission successful. Cool! Also, Holofax, Chillswick, Smothered in Jam, Orc Toast getting a sub from Sir Lancelot. Thank you for that, Sir Lancelot. I remember the Regan Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly, we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the Council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orano will not act, someone must. Uh-oh. I know what I'm asking of you. 
you will face former comrades or even loved ones on the battlefield. Uh -oh. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory. Yo, this is civil war. Strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the reach. To your stations, for the directorate. Yep, military coup. It's happening. Oh no! Also, Bio Battle, Boom, Shakalaka, Berserker Wolf, Malik 5 with a new sub from Wodrick. Thank you for that, buddy. And Cord Hose and Johnny. Appreciate your subs, guys. Thank you for it. Hey, thank you, B-Tibia. Flamers generate little heat when fired, but they can quickly overheat an enemy battle mech. That's good to know. Mm -mm. If you expand... Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Matthew. <laughs> All right, here we go. Initiated. I'm going to miss this, Raju. The clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The simplicity of it. But there they are, just up ahead. The city gates and my future, all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? A guard post, one of the small ones, that dot the road leading to the capital. But the emergency band's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This is damned odd. And I don't like it. Kid, Keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. Outside of combat, your entire lance moves in any order. You can even have multiple units moving at the same time. Oh, okay. Uh, sprint up there. Sprint up there. Location up there. confirmed. Some sort of explosion. Looks recent, too. Do you think it was an accident? No chance. You see those scorch marks on the rubble? That's a laser fire. We need to get you out of here, Kamea. Right now. Yes, I think you're right. There's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Thank you, Raju. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Of that, I have no doubt. Whoa. Oh, look at all... Wow, every building's destroyable? Oh, that's pretty cool. Hold on a second. Oh, damn, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, whoops, let me get out of the way there. Um, alright, let's keep moving here. I'm gonna put you here. There. And you right Hmm. Let's have Mastiff overlook everything. Copy that. Kentaro or Kamea, you're gonna move up. I'm on and move. so are we're gonna we're gonna set up like right here. 